Welcome back to Baguio, or as I like to call it, the streets of hills. The streets of hills. The town of hills. Um, so we had an idea to go out to Good Shepherd. I don't know what that is, but apparently got some good photographic opportunity out there. And we can't find a taxi. So hailing a taxi at just any hour in the city is not really always possible, which is something new to me because I haven't had trouble uh, in the past. So that being said, my old butt is walking up a hill, which is why I'm a little winded, but I love this city and I'm glad to be here. And I'm gonna bring you guys some decent content, fingers crossed, of all kinds of good stuff. Gonna be here for two days this time. Never stayed in Baggy out for two days. So hopefully I'll get some good stuff. We'll see. I don't think I've ever said it before, but if you come by a van, it takes about four hours to get here. And it's really back and forth, S curves, up and down hills. It's just, I don't know. It's uh, it's not a pleasant ride. The cost for the van is 250 pesos per person. Um, <coughs> they leave frequently out of Solano, but they leave when the van is full, not on the schedule. So. That's something to keep in mind if you're ever traveling in the Vizcaya area to Baguio. Yeah. There are, can you see this road? That road is tiny, tiny, and there are way too many cars on it. Um, that's what I was talking about in my last video when I said these roads were not designed to handle this kind of traffic, and they're not. Uh, this time we are staying at a transit house, transit house. This time we are staying in a transient house. And I have to tell you, it's nicer than some of the condos uh, I've stayed in in certain cities. So looking pretty good there. I'll try to remember to give you guys a tour of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally held a cab. And I'm glad because my back is sore and so is my legs. If you walk the streets of Aguiao every day for 90 minutes, doesn't matter where at, just anywhere, for 90 minutes, for two months, I would almost bet you would lose 10 to 15 pounds. That's how hilly this place is. Like, it's just... But I enjoy it, though. It's a good workout. Looks different. Doesn't look like Cebu or Solano. It's a, a whole different beast. Anyway, we're on our way to Good Shepherd and I will be in touch as soon as we get there. So far, I see coffee shops and food and, oh, by the way, we're at Good Shepherd. And I also see some kind of overlook here. Can you guys see this behind me? Right there? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's time to take a few pictures. Let me give you guys a little pan of view here. So I don't know what was more fun, taking the pictures of the landscape I just took or trying to teach the photographer that's with me how to take a picture of me. <laughs> but it was fun though. Uh, interesting, interesting little place so far. Uh, look at all these plants. See all those plants behind me? I heard they had all kinds of stuff up here. I guess we're getting ready to find out. We're gonna walk around a little bit and I will check you guys out shortly. So apparently there's a lot of organic food around here. Um, that little shop right there has a lot of it. I guess this is another one that has some of those things. Um, but they have plants for sale everywhere. Look. Plants, plants, and more plants. 
I'm hungry. Got to go. I'm not going to walk and vlog at the same time just because it is super crowded out here. This is Sessions Road. And there are people everywhere. I'm not exactly sure what the significance is to this road. Um, but I'm sure I'll find out as I keep coming back. Uh, it looks like a real busy... Like a real busy New York street is really all I can tell you. There's people everywhere. Most of them are young. So I don't know if school just let out or what the case is. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe not. But uh, a lot of places to eat. A lot of things to do on this road. So we're going to check it out. And maybe I'll have a little bit of a report for you later. Welcome back, guys. You are now in Burnham Park. And as you can tell, it's nighttime. Uh, this is a really, really interesting place. I haven't been here at night before. Uh, I'm going to walk around a little bit, try to collect a few shots that I probably wouldn't get otherwise during the day. Uh, I'm currently shooting a time lapse, but this park is very popular. It's packed uh, right now, and it's about 6.30 at night, I think, 6.30 or 7. Um, and the vendors are still out here working, uh, selling all their goods. Um, this is a really interesting place to be. And um, Bagiao is, uh, Bagiao has a lot to offer, so I'm very excited to be here and uh, hope to bring you guys some more content shortly.